get out from under my shit. So we need a, a radioactive biome, and we need a snowy biome. This has Cory Sage in. Okay, this is snowy. Let's do it. Okay, and we're gonna remember while we're visiting this planet to look for. Once again, our our character is very interested in alien artifacts, so he's interested in meeting sentient aliens and discovering ancient artifacts from them. So we're looking for a point of interest. Specifically. It's kind of an interesting layout to this planet. Here we go. What's this point of interest? Whoa. Ah, suit upgrade. We're definitely getting this. Definitely getting this. Okay. Let's check out the animals real quick. This looks kind of... Yeah, carnivorous. <laughs> but it's so cute. Oh, there's Cory Sajin right here. It's so cute. I don't want to just kill it. That's also carnivorous, right? Yeah, okay. It's just not attract their attention. Where's the entrance to this pod? Seriously. Wait, what? Oh, there it is. How did I miss that? <laughs> I was like, there's no entrance! Uh, yes, definitely. Okay. I see you over there. Sweet, a Gek Charm. Okay. This planet's very cold. The Dyfun Glacier. Oh. I see you over there. I see you right here. See you. Get out from under my shit. Die. All right. Corey Sajin. Yeah, relax. All right, cool. I think we got everything we need from this planet. 
Can I get in my ship, please? Don't do it, don't do it. Don't do it. Ah, oh, this thing. <laughs> get me in the ship. Okay, all right. <clears throat> okay, we got the Gek Charm that he wanted. We got the Cory Sajin. Now we just need the... Right. We're almost out of plutonium. So what we need is... Oh, there's plutonium right there. Uh, I'm not landing to get that. What I need to find is a landing pad. But we might just go to the next planet. Unless there's a pad right here. Well, there's no pad, but there's everything else, huh? Hmm. Extreme night temperatures. Let's go. Let's see if we can find that radioactive planet. Undiscovered. What do we got? Tamarium. Okay. Don't need Tamarium. What do you got here? Okay, that looks like a dead world. A lot of planets. Tamarium. Okay. Ah, ah, there we go. Discovered. What's on this place? Yeah, okay. It's like a moon. Okay. Kind of follow these warp trails and you can see what's what. Let's warp around the other side of this planet. Because it appears there's another planet on the other side of this planet. Another planet at. Okay, there's two right together there. There's that one, and then there's. There is one behind it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. What do you got? Already? <clears throat> you can scan anytime. Okay. Okay. Uh -oh. All right. Okay, so there's no candesium in here. So let's look at our map. Orbital station coordinates received. Okay, anomaly detected. Okay. Okay, we're a few jumps from it. Six planets. Um, how much? Oh, we've got we've got all the warp jumps in the world. Okay, let's just do it then. Let's go. Next Atlas interface. Let's do it.
In the meantime, we'll check the planets on the way, right? Check the planets on the way for um, Candesium. I don't know why I'm dropping frames today. I'm dropping a little bit. Not a ton. But I am dropping a little bit, which is kind of annoying. You don't need the space station. Do you? Whoa, that was cool. <laughs> um, okay, nothing there. Candesium. For vidium. Okay. Vortex cubes. Oh, cool. It tells you right here. Fervidium. Okay. And you check this one out, right? So that's one, two. Corey Sajin. Okay. Three. Four, five, and there's six. There's one right behind it. Okay. Temerian. Okay. Nothing here we need. All right, moving on. Five planets, one moon. Okay. Next system. Ooh. Oh, man. Uh. All right. Candesium is what we're looking for. Spadonium. The moon has nothing. So scan two planets, one moon. There's three more planets to scan. Spadonium. Where's the other planet? It's behind this one? Yeah. Hagadolzo Mika. Candesium. Nice. Let's do it. So one minute trip to this place, um, I need to land on a pad or some place that has um, visible plutonium because I am almost out. I need some more plutonium. Hagadolzo Mika. I also have an advanced mining laser now, so I can mine anything that I see, which is a big deal. I can, there's no resource I can't grab now, I think. Because I've got the gauntlets and the advanced mining laser. Like I said, we'll hit the next Atlas interface while we're doing this too. This planet, is, it has to be the farthest planet away, right? Like.
Alright, here we go. find us a place to land. That's a habitable base right there, just past. Uh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Nope, no pad. Ooh, suit upgrade. Okay. Alright, I need to find some plutonium. There's a little bit there. Oh, hello! Plutonium! Haha! <laughs> it's right here! Fantastic! Let me make sure I have space for it. Okay. We still have space. Fantastic! Okay, we're good to go. We will pay for this upgrade. Perfect. Yeah, it just makes sense to grab every suit upgrade you see. Right? Like, that totally makes sense. Cotrog Plains. Okay. So we need... Candesium. creatures on the horizon. Let me just make sure that they're not... Fearful. Okay. All those seem to be grazing creatures. Damium's over there. Okay. What's this... Location and how far is it? Two minutes. Got a lot of plutonium that I just picked up, so. That's nice, actually. Uh, I see a word and a thing, so I think we're gonna go check that out. Let me not leave my ship, though, without some. Shielding shards. Right? Okay. Let me put the Corsagen in the ship. And discard the Mordite. Okay. Alright, let me run over here. Okay. Yeah, I see you. I see you, attack plant. Whoa, 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 whoa. Candesium. Nice. All right. Candesium. There's some more over here, it looks like. Okay. And there's some there that I probably missed. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Let's move cautiously, make sure that we're not being snuck up on by something. Candesium, small, man. Okay. Nice. Like to see that. Shield upgrades for the ship, I think, are the one of the biggest. The, like the er, the early upgrades you should get, like one of the most important early upgrades. Orvax convergence cube. 
Okay. So we, um... Okay. Let's get this word. Gek! We're in a Gek system. Cool. Give, I think, is a good... That's a good Gek word to have, I think, because... Um... They're always asking you to give them something, right? So... Seems, it seems an important word to have. Let's get back to the ship. On the way, there was some Candesium that we're gonna grab. Right? No, I saw it. Hello. Grazing type creatures. Do not be alarmed. Love these trees. They're so bizarre. <laughs> uh, a little plutonium. Never hurt anybody. Right? Plutonium. Yeah, there's some more candesium over here. to have some zinc. How far away is the zinc? Okay. Right here. Yeah. Cool. Okay. And where was the other Cory Sage in? Yeah, right here. Candesium. Candesium. Perfect. And let's get back to that ship. Right? Any more Candesium? Yeah, right there. Let me grab that real quick. I don't know exactly how much they, that he wanted. It didn't seem like much. So... I walked right past this, didn't I? It's tiny. It's really tiny. Cool. Yeah, man, in normal mode, you can just run forever, you can walk forever, you can... It's pretty easy. Not, you don't need a lot. <laughs> really. Okay. Alright, so I have everything that I... I think I have everything that I need right now. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. Okay. I'm gonna need more iron for the pulse engine. But at the moment, I think we're just leaving this planet. So we've got everything we need. So let's warp. Let's warp to the next Atlas interface. Once we get the next Atlas interface, we will go back to our base and get a new set of goals. Wadema... <laughs> Wajindama. Wajindama. You know, there's a part of me... that is really bothered by just warping into a system and leaving without checking anything out. I have this real, um... I have a slight little bit of, um... What do you call it? Obsessive... Compulsive. I'm just a little bit obsessive compulsive, so... I think to myself, man, I'm just jumping into these systems and warping out of them immediately, and nothing is happening. I'm not discovering anything, and that bothers me just a little bit. Okay, this should be the actual Atlas interface, right? Or do I have one more- I have one more jump after this. Hyperdrive has no fuel. Okay, did I not check the... 
shoot. Okay, so we've got one warp cell. And then... Okay. What do I need to craft antimatter? More heridium. Okay. So we need heridium. Um, let's... Should we go to the space station? Yeah, it's right here. Let's just go to the space station. Um, and get some heridium from somebody. That seems like a wise choice. Because we just need... You know, we need almost nothing here for another... We need two more warp cells. Well, one more warp cell now that we've fueled our hyperdrive, so... And we'll get to Atlas in Phase 3. Alright. It's interesting to me, the controller um, buttons, even though you have an Xbox controller plugged up, it doesn't have any idea what that is, so... It just, it uses the PlayStation buttons. <laughs> What's up, guys? How's it going? I just need some heridium. Thanks. Buy items. All right. Heridium. Okay. Perfect. So let's craft the head just enough. Warp cell. And fuel wire drive. Okay, perfect. Okay, just enough. Just enough. Let's do this. Third Atlas interface. Here we come. This is the original ship too. This is the this is the ship that's the um, I haven't even gotten another ship yet. This is the pre-order ship. I don't. I haven't even needed another ship yet. This ship has been fine. I mean, I, I could use more space definitely, but. This ship is stout enough to where I'm unconcerned about anything else. Let's hit up the Atlas interface. Okay. It says this interface is undiscovered, so that means no one has found this one either. I discovered this galaxy, so no one's ever been to this particular Atlas interface. Whooped 15 times. The thing that I'm worried about is not... I'm worried about not having the Atlas Stones with me when I visit an Atlas interface. Does that change... Like, if you've sold the stones, or you just don't have them on you, does that change the way that the Atlas interface behaves towards you? I don't know. I guess we're gonna find out. This one's creepy. <laughs> it's got like an eyeball looking at you. Let's see, let me make sure I have some space. Okay, I do. Let's charge that up. Learn the geck word for high. Ah, sweet. Toxin suppressor. What do you have for me? Warp cell. Another warp cell. Fantastic. Let me try to stack those. Let's put the Cory Sage in here. Stack the warp cells in the ship. Okay, now I have lots of space. Okay. 
here we are. The Nexus as Blaznik. Okay, I still can't... I still know none of the words. There is purpose in this, I am certain. The Wanderer's way beckons, heedless of direction, freed from all control. But balanced against it is the promise of raw knowledge. The Atlas needs me so that it may know itself. I'm at the crossroads of a momentous decision. I feel it with every parsec I travel. The open stars call to me, stirring something primal and undeniable. The path toward the endpoint unfolds. I must decide where my fate lies. Concede. See, I don't know what this milestone Rosetta means. I will commit to the voyage, myself to the voyage, and all things I am ready, I will not falter. Okay. I, I'm really curious. So that said milestone Rosetta. I can't remember what the last one said. But I wonder if those milestones have to do with how many Atlas stones you have on you. I wonder if that matters. I'm really concerned that it does. And that I need to keep those stupid stones on me. Hmm. We've learned the Gek word for Gek. Which should just be Gek, shouldn't it? Like, <laughs> is there a different word that they call themselves? And everybody else calls them the Gek? How did I miss this one? Gek word for first. Okay. That's fine. None of these have any words. Okay, there we go. Spawn. One way over here that probably doesn't have a word either. Destroy. Hmm. Okay. We did get a word. I have to remember there's one right in front of my ship on that platform up there. <laughs> so... I wonder if this thing changes, the shape changes, based on which, how many interfaces you've visited with this character. I bet it does. I bet it changes every time. And they keep track of how many you've been to. Despair. Okay. 